uterine fibroids. They are a mystery, a silent growth within. These non-cancerous tumors develop in the uterus, often without announcing their presence. They are made of muscle cells and other tissues that grow in and around the wall of the uterus. They can be as small as a seed or grow as large as a grapefruit. Fibroids are incredibly common, affecting millions of women worldwide. Many women will experience fibroids at some point in their lives, often during their childbearing years. Despite their prevalence, they remain shrouded in a veil of silence. The causes of fibroids are not fully understood. Hormones, genetics and environmental factors may play a role. What we do know is that fibroids can have a profound impact on a woman's life, affecting her physical health, emotional well-being and reproductive journey. Sarah was 28, vibrant and active. She loved to dance, hike and travel. Then she started experiencing unusual symptoms. Heavy menstrual bleeding, pelvic pain and frequent urination became her new normal. At first, she dismissed these symptoms as stress or hormonal fluctuations. But as they persisted and worsened, she knew something was wrong. She consulted her doctor, who ordered an ultrasound. The diagnosis, uterine fibroids. Sarah felt a mix of emotions, fear, confusion and isolation. She had never heard of fibroids before. The diagnosis felt like a label, a burden she now carried silently. She began to research, desperate for answers, for a way to understand this unseen growth that was disrupting her life. Scientists have been studying fibroids for decades, yet many questions remain unanswered. While the exact cause is unknown, research suggests that hormones, particularly estrogen and progesterone, play a crucial role in their growth. Genetics also appear to be a factor, Women with a family history of fibroids are more likely to develop them. Furthermore, environmental factors such as exposure to certain chemicals may contribute to their development. The impact of fibroids varies greatly from woman to woman. Some experience no symptoms, while others face debilitating pain, heavy bleeding and reproductive challenges. The size, location and number of fibroids can all influence the severity of symptoms. Regardless of the symptoms, the diagnosis can be emotionally challenging, often leading to feelings of fear, uncertainty and isolation. The good news is that there are treatment options available for women with fibroids. The best approach depends on the individual's symptoms, the size and location of the fibroids and her desire for future pregnancies. Medications can help manage symptoms like heavy bleeding and pain. Hormonal therapies, such as birth control pills or gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH agonists, can temporarily shrink fibroids by reducing estrogen levels. Pain relievers, such as ibuprofen or naproxen, can provide relief from discomfort. For women seeking a more permanent solution, Minimally invasive procedures, such as uterine artery embolization, UAE or myomectomy, can be effective. UAE blocks blood flow to the fibroids, causing them to shrink. Myomectomy surgically removes the fibroids while preserving the uterus. In severe cases, a hysterectomy, the surgical removal of the uterus may be necessary. Section 5 beyond the physical, the emotional toll of fibroids. The impact of fibroids extends far beyond the physical realm, casting a long shadow on a woman's emotional well-being. The heavy bleeding, pain and discomfort can disrupt daily life, making it challenging to work, socialize and engage in activities they once enjoyed. The uncertainty surrounding the condition can trigger anxiety and fear. Women may worry about the impact on their fertility, their relationships, and their future. The invisible nature of fibroids can make it difficult for others to understand the struggle. This lack of understanding can lead to feelings of isolation and loneliness. 
Women may hesitate to share their experiences, fearing judgment or dismissal. It is crucial to acknowledge and address the emotional burden that fibroids can impose, providing support and understanding to those affected. Section 6. A call for awareness. Breaking the silence. For too long, fibroids have been shrouded in silence, a taboo topic whispered about in hushed tones. This silence has perpetuated misinformation, delayed diagnosis, and prevented women from seeking timely treatment. It is time to break the silence, to shine a light on this common, yet often misunderstood, condition. Raising awareness about fibroids is paramount. We need to educate women about the symptoms, the available treatments, and the importance of seeking medical attention. Early diagnosis can lead to better outcomes and improved quality of life. We must create a culture of open dialogue, where women feel comfortable discussing their experiences without shame or stigma. Sharing stories, both personal and scientific, can help dispel myths, foster understanding, and empower women to take control of their health. Section 7. Research on the horizon, hope for the future. The scientific community is actively engaged in research to unravel the mysteries surrounding fibroids. Scientists are exploring the underlying causes, developing new diagnostic tools, and investigating innovative treatment options. Clinical trials are underway to evaluate the effectiveness of novel medications, less invasive procedures, and alternative therapies. Researchers are also studying the role of genetics, lifestyle factors, and environmental exposures in the development of fibroids. This ongoing research offers hope for the future, promising a deeper understanding of fibroids and improved options for prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. The pursuit of knowledge, driven by scientific curiosity and compassion, will pave the way for better care and brighter outcomes for women affected by this condition. Section 8. Taking control. Empowering women with knowledge. Knowledge is power. For women with fibroids, understanding the condition, the available treatments, and the importance of self-advocacy is empowering. Armed with information, women can make informed decisions about their health and actively participate in their care. It is essential to seek reputable sources of information, consult with healthcare professionals, and engage in open communication with doctors. Asking questions, expressing concerns, and advocating for one's needs are crucial steps in navigating the healthcare system. Empowerment also involves adopting a holistic approach to well-being. This includes prioritizing self-care practices, such as stress management techniques, healthy eating habits, and regular exercise. Taking care of one's physical and emotional health can contribute to overall well-being and resilience. Section 9. A Shared Journey. Finding Strength in Community. The journey with fibroids can be challenging, but it does not have to be a solitary one. Connecting with others who understand the experience can provide invaluable support, encouragement and hope. Support groups, online forums and social media platforms offer spaces for women to share their stories, exchange information and find strength in shared experiences. Building a community of support can alleviate feelings of isolation, validate emotions, and foster a sense of belonging. Sharing stories and knowledge can empower women to navigate the challenges of fibroids with greater confidence and resilience. The collective voice of women with fibroids is a powerful force for change. By sharing our stories, advocating for research, and supporting one another, we can break the silence, raise awareness, and create a future where women with fibroids receive the care, understanding, and support they deserve.